there's one simple recipe that strikes fear into the heart of most chefs, and that's this simple omelet, because they're incredibly hard to do perfectly, which is what Lon is gonna show us how to do today. I think you're gonna have fun with this. I learned how to make these on the fly, working in omelet station. It was touch and go for the first three months. <laughs> But once you mastered it, it's a lot of fun to do. It used to have a scoring system. <laughs> yeah. Only the nines and higher got out of the kitchen. Oh, goodness. We're going to get you to a perfect 10 omelet today. On the first try? First try. Oh, I'm in. I'm actually really excited to see your method. So I think three large eggs uh -huh. is a perfect size for an omelet. If you have too much egg in there, it's hard to fold. And if there's not enough egg in there, it's too thin and it'll tear. So. OK, three eggs. Three eggs. I'm going to add a pinch of salt and just beat them really well. The only thing you really need to know here is that if your eggs are streaky here, your omelet's going to be streaky. Uh, I like to use a fork rather than a whisk. Why is that? I just think the fork fits better in this bowl, like the head of the whisk is too large. You can't really make use of it in a small bowl. You're beating the heck out of it. Yeah. That's more than I usually do. So right off the bat, I learned something. <laughs> Beat the heck out of your eggs? Yes. All right, next. I'm using one ounce of extra sharp cheddar. As long as it's a good melter, it'll be nice here. I'm actually going to pre-melt this cheese. You want your filling to be at serving temp. Once it's in place, the eggs are going to insulate it from the heat of the pan. So if it's not hot, it's not going to be hot when you serve it. Pre-melting the cheese. I know, it sounds a little fussy, but I <laughs> swear it's worth it. This is next level. All right. We're going to melt this cheese in the microwave at 50% power for 30 to 60 seconds. Is that good? Yes. So, melted cheese ready to go. Mm, smells good. We're gonna start cooking. This is gonna go fast. Butter in the skillet, one and a half teaspoons of butter. I'm gonna heat this pan at medium heat. Really wanna make sure I get that heat right. When there is even bubbling across the bottom of the skillet, whole thing's hot and it's ready to go. So, eggs go in. Mm hmm. And at this point, we're not trying to shape the eggs or do anything fancy, we're just cooking them. Okay. I want to stir constantly as I cook because that makes small curds, mm -hmm. helps the eggs cook evenly, and that's how you get a nice smooth surface to your omelet. Now that we're 80% cooked, yeah. I don't want to see a ton of liquid egg left. This looks good. Shut this off. Now, the eggs are about 90% cooked, mm -hmm. and I'm going to scrape the sides of the pan so that they're nice and clean. You can sort of mold them into your omelet shape. Yeah, that 10% of not quite cooked egg, it's the glue that holds the curds together. So you definitely need some of it to not be cooked. Okay. Just making a nice flat round shape. So I've got my cheese here and what I'm gonna do is make a two inch or so wide strip. Whatever you're filling your omelet with, you want it to cover the center of the omelet and you want to place it so that the filling is perpendicular to the handle of the pan. So we'll cover this now. There's a little bit of residual heat in there. It's going to set that raw egg that is holding the curds together. We'll just give it one minute to hang out. Okay. At America's Test Kitchen, recipe development is serious business. Head over to americastestkitchen.com and unlock 14,000 expert developed recipes and 8,000 unbiased product reviews, all rigorously tested by our team. Access every episode of every season of your favorite cooking shows. That's 38 seasons of inspiration. And with the ATK Members app, you'll have 30 years of expertise at your fingertips anywhere, anytime. Join us and become a smarter cook. Start your free all-access trial membership at americastestkitchen.com today. Using a nonstick skillet is key if you want to make a good omelet, which made me wonder, how does that nonstick surface really work? When eggs cook in a traditional stainless steel skillet, the heat causes the protein in the eggs to bond to the iron atoms in the metal. As the eggs cook, the more proteins uncoil, exposing more of their surface, making them stick even more. A nonstick pan, however, has a coating on top of the metal made of polytetrafluoroethylene, or PTFE, commonly known as Teflon. It's an incredibly slippery polymer made of long chains of carbon atoms tightly bound to fluorine atoms. The bond between carbon and fluorine is so strong that the atoms can't bond to anything else, like eggs. And that's why eggs will slide right out of a nonstick skillet. So this last part is my favorite part of <laughs> omelet making. I refer to it as the dismount. You ready? I am ready. Here we go. First, I'm going to loosen these eggs just to make sure they're not stuck anywhere. 
and then I'll scoot them down. And I'm looking for the edge of the omelet to hit the edge of the skillet. Now I'm gonna fold this top third over the filling. I'm gonna switch my grip. I want an underhand grip. And what we're gonna do is kind of, have you ever pulled a beer? Yes. That's the motion we're going for. We're just gonna roll it right out of the pan onto a plate. Oh, gorgeous. You stuck the landing. I feel like I could have gotten it a little bit smoother over here, but wow. I'm not gonna stress it. All right, I'm gonna get this into a low oven so it stays warm and you can hold this for about 10 minutes. All right, Julia, show me what you got. <laughs> yes, chef. Three eggs, mm -hmm. pinch of salt, yep. whisking the heck out of it. Yep. See, at home, this is where I'd stop. No, I want a 10. This will make the folding so much easier. It's worth it. Okay. I think that looks pretty good. What do you yeah. think? Good. All right. Next, we're gonna melt the cheese. Mm -hmm. Now, it took about 40 or so seconds at 50% power. You're eagle-eyed. <laughs> I was really paying attention. You really were. <laughs> Cheese is melted, except for that little bit. That's okay? That's okay. That plate is warm. It's gonna keep doing its thing while you're okay. cooking. Okay. If that gets me less than a 10, I'll be mad. One and a half teaspoons of unsalted butter. Medium heat, evenly hot pan that bubbles all the way around. Mm -hmm. All right, in go to the eggs. And now cook and stir. We want little curds. Stir harder. Oh, keep oh, going. Oh, no story time. No nope, story keep going. time. <laughs> Otherwise your liquid egg sits on top and it's not cooking. Gotcha. Yeah, there you go. So that's the crucial moment yeah, right there. Yeah, you just gotta keep going. Okay. Shut off the heat now. Shut off the heat now. Smooth right. it out. You just wanna smooth it into an even layer. Smooth, smooth, smooth. Ah! <laughs> Don't worry, the heat's off at this point. Okay, should so, I take it off the hot burner? On electric, I would definitely move since we're on gas and it's so responsive, I think this is fine. Okay, next, the cheese. Yep, we're looking for about a two inch wide strip perpendicular to the handle. Lid on. Lid on, one minute. Take a deep breath. <laughs> you made it. I made it here, but I haven't done the dismount. Here we go. It's been a minute. Tidy up the edges. Make sure it's not sticking. Make sure it's not sticking, and then. Push and shimmy it down towards the edge. There you go. Okay. You gotta do it with confidence, just go. Just mm -hmm. hold your breath and just, oh, you almost had it. I almost had it. That's actually not bad, Julia. For my first omelet? Yeah. Edible? Absolutely. Not a 10. Oh, that's like maybe five. No, I think you've got great shape. The cook looks perfect. It's not gonna be runny. Well, Julia Child always said, just put some parsley on it. Right. In this case, maybe some chives. A little bit of chive. I'm excited to eat this. I'm going right for the center. Yeah? Mm-hmm, because that's how you tell a good omelet. The cheese is melted and the eggs aren't runny. Oh, look at that. Yes, yes, cheese. Mmm. A good cheese omelet really is more than the sum of its parts. I actually do this for breakfast pretty often. It's so fast. If you can get this done in, what, six minutes? Not even. Yeah. Lon, thank you for teaching. That was fun. That was fun. So if you want to get a 10 from Lon when making an omelet, use three eggs and whisk them good, pre-melt the cheese filling, and let the omelet finish cooking off the heat. From America's Test Kitchen, a foolproof recipe for an omelet with cheddar and chives. We hope you enjoyed this video as much as we enjoyed making it. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. And if you're ready to take your cooking to the next level, head over to americastestkitchen.com and get a free all access trial membership. While you're there, you can sign up for our free email newsletters and download our app. With unlimited access to over 14,000 of our test kitchen recipes, and 8,000 product reviews, you'll have everything you need to cook and learn. So I ask, what are you waiting for? <laughs> Let's make something great together.